Hmm. Hello. Thank you for joining me here today for Today I Choose. Today's question is, is it selfish to choose self? It's the highest thing you can do for yourself, anyone you ever come in contact with, and the planet to choose self. Now we have two selves. We have the higher self, and then we have the little self. And this little self is the one that's over here going, I, 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 and, you know, being stuck. And we have this larger self that knows that it is a cell in the body of the collective. And if one cell is cancerous and out of balance, it's going to affect every cell in the body. Right? We know that. Yet, we're in this isolated, or we have been, I'm, I'm, you know, the energy is shifting, but we've been in this very isolated individual space and pushing away the other cells, right? And we're not nourishing ourselves. Now, what's interesting is, you know, when I'm working with someone, giving them, you know, tools to work with as they move into integrity between those layers of being, right? You know, the, there's a lot of talk about being selfish, right? I feel selfish to take that time and go for a walk, or I feel selfish to get in the bath for, for 15 minutes an Epsom salt and lavender bath or, you know, I feel selfish going and being by myself for a minute to contemplate or taking that 30 minutes to meditate. Interesting. Right? Because we don't feel selfish when we're sitting on the couch um, suffering or we don't feel selfish when we're sitting down and mindlessly consuming hours upon hours of internet or TV, right? We don't feel selfish when we're, you know, consuming our addictions or, you know, if you get my drift. So nourishing self, is never selfish. It's the best thing you can do for everyone, right? The more whole and healthy you are, the more right-minded your behaviors and your words and your actions are, right? That's gonna affect everyone. So please, take time for you, right? And I don't mean take time for you, go out partying. I mean, take time for you. Right? And understand why you believe what you believe, because this is a time of questioning, right? Everything that we think we know is upside down. So truly taking the time to go, huh, what is, what is, what is that belief founded in? Is there truth behind it? Is it just hearsay? Have I had any experiences that demonstrated that truth? Because that is truly what we need to look at, right? I so often have people trapped in these invisible stories that have no tangibility, right? Be it the aliens are coming or monsters are coming or they're ill or they're this or they're that. And, and you know, the feeling that they're getting is a true feeling, but their interpretation is doom and gloom and fear and attack because everything seems to be happening to them. It's not true. These words, these thoughts, these, these repetitive behaviors are just creating everything you hate right out in front of you again. Right? So truly, it's a time to question everything you think you know. Right? And understanding why you believe what you believe 
Was it from an experience? Was it from hearsay? And invest that time. Because if you're here listening to me, it's not by accident, right? It's on purpose. Because right now we're in this humongous gateway of change and we need you awake, right? This scale of justice needs to find some balance. Right now it's like this, right? So it needs to find some balance as we move from one eon into the next. So thank you for being here with me. And please join in the conversation. Hop on my YouTube. You know, I'm here on Facebook all the time. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, like, you know, truly join in the conversation. And if you'd like to have a personal conversation with me, hop on that freedom call, right? It's completely free, 30 minutes. Let's talk and see where you are, see where you want to be, and see how fast we can get you there. So you have a great day, and I'll be back here soon.